Lying Hour. Like Neil said, we're going to be here every Thursday in March and April, and we're very excited to bring our show to you. If you've never seen us before, it's kind of interesting. What you're about to see are uh, actors. These actors have memorized scripts like they would for any other play, a play that you might see at the alley, or at Stages Theater, or at a place where they produce forms of archaic culture. Uh, <laughs> they have memorized these scenes, and they have pre uh, prepared them like they would for any other type of play they would do. However, they're going to be joined on stage by improvisers who don't know anything about the play that they're doing, anything about the script or the character they're playing, much like you don't know anything about the play that you're about to see because the death of American theater is all of our faults. <laughs> <laughs> That's just that. Lights <laughs> <laughs> come back up. Magical lying out. <laughs> Life is very long. T.S. Eliot. That's real sweet, Teddy. <laughs> well, he's not the first person to write it down. Okay, well... Certainly not the first, first person to say it, you know, to think it, to feel it. Okay. I guess this is your roundabout way of saying happy birthday to your grandma. But <laughs> 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 well, the four-eyed prick was a genius, so whenever you say it, you gotta say his name after it. Okay. Life is very long. Yep. T.S.O. Okay. If you're lucky, you know, uh, you get to... Enjoy these beautiful days. Goddamn right! Okay. <laughs> I'm sensing a lot of hostility. <laughs> and I feel like maybe you want to tell me something, or maybe not tell me anything at all, depending on what mood you're in and what you're going to say next. <laughs> <laughs> he should know. Okay, well, uh, I assume T.S. Eliot's been gone a while. He lived to be 76. Okay, well. <laughs> Which is a very long time. Okay, well, I'm 96, so. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in those days. Okay. Can I have, like, a little, can I have something? Can I have something I can be proud of? <laughs> <laughs> he wrote it when he was 32. Okay. Well, I had your mom, so that's a big, big old thing. <laughs> you got to be impressed by it. Very few men could have come out the other side of his trials the way he had, all brilliant teamed and double-breasted and Anglican. <laughs> Teddy, I think you got a crush. <laughs> <laughs> Just the way you're talking about him, you know, with the you know, spiffy words and talking about his looks and his shiny and the Anglicans. <laughs> it's not hard to imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Faced with his first wife, Viv. Oh, Viv. Sounds like a great lady, great name. I used to know a lady named Viv, but she did my hair. And <laughs> she's also dead. <laughs> God knows. Well, yeah. He does know. He probably knows her well. She was a Good woman, I assume she's up there. Violet, my wife. Oh yeah, I know her. <laughs> <laughs> she's also a nice lady. She takes pills. What? <laughs> <laughs> the best of us do. <laughs> best of us do. Sometimes a great many. Okay. Um, so we're going from hostile to just sort of. Telling me everything, okay. Um, now let me ask you, has it had any sort of negative impact on your relationship, on your everyday sort of routines or behaviors, or do you feel like maybe it's sort of clouding her judgment because you're here a lot? <laughs> <laughs> well, these pills that she takes affect her equilibrium. Okay. Thankfully they all but eliminate her need for equilibrium, so... She falls when she rambles, but she doesn't uh. ramble much. <laughs> Why don't you help her? <laughs> Ha, <laughs> <laughs>
as to whether my wife takes pills because I drink well. I've long ago given up speaking for my wife. Well, good. It's 2017. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Reasons why we do it are even more inconsequential. Facts are these. My wife takes pills and I drink, and that has, over time, made difficult the running of a traditional American home. <laughs> there, there is no traditional American <laughs> paying of bills. Okay, <laughs> I see what you're saying there. Purchase of goods. Yeah. <laughs> Cleaning of cars. Okay. And carpets. Those are chores. trappers. <laughs> Those are chores. Okay. Those are things that. You have to do to take care of a home, but it doesn't make a home. Doing those things doesn't make your family, okay? Think about it. You can pay somebody to clean all those things. You can't pay somebody to be your family. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a decision with which I'm entirely comfortable. I'm not very comfortable with it either because I don't think you'd be good at it. <laughs>